Happy New Year, Soul Family! This is Latani with Saggy Soul. Thank you so much for tuning in to your reading. Uh, I will be starting off with Capricorn. Capricorn, happy birthday, happy new year. Uh, but before I get started, let me say thank you to all of my old subscribers. I really appreciate you. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Welcome and thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for the emails, the comments, the likes, dislikes, because it's all energy. So family, thank you so much for sharing your comments, your personal stories, because it helps to heal others. Others who are going through the same situations, similar situations, and those who will be coming up behind the energy. Um, so uh, Capricorn, I don't have my new calendar yet for 2021. <laughs> uh, so next reading, I'll start off with the horoscopes. Okay. Um, I don't know why I'm drawing a blank. All right. So um, this won't resonate with everyone. Uh, maybe 5%. Maybe one percent, maybe one or two people, whoever is meant to hear it the most. Continue to check your moon sign, rising, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, your north node, all those areas in the natal birth chart that make up who you are. Um, I think that's about it. So Capricorn, I have already set my intentions and I have already set my prayer off camera. I'm going to bring you on down. Let's go ahead and get into your uh, reading. y'all have had a good week peaceful holiday so Capricorn let's see when I split the deck I have the fool and the king of swords in the reverse hmm so, someone wants to take a new beginning, but they're stuck and rigid in their ways, their beliefs, their ideas, right? And I split the deck again. I have the King of Swords in the upright with the Nine of Swords. So maybe someone was going through some type of thoughts or betrayal or just how things were done in the past and why they were done. and. Not being able to let go of hurt feelings or bad relationships, whether it be in business, friendships, or even romantic. Let's do one more. Let's cut the deck. Oops. Capricorn, your focus. The King of Swords. Hmm, in the reverse. So maybe being wishy-washy about a decision, or even a person or a place. All right. You also have the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. You also have Justice Major Arcana in the reverse. You also have the Knight of Wands in the upright. You also have the Chariot Major Arcana in the reverse. You also have the Three of Cups. You also have Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Hmm. All right, Capricorn, let's see if we can get this together here. Hmm, Capricorn, we have the King of Swords in the reverse. Interesting. Now on the upright, well, King of Swords, well, he's very fair and very just and could be very harsh, but rules with always fair decisions, very analytical, very logical, and has had good times, bad times, good marriages, bad marriages, good relationships, bad marriages, or relationships, right? Uh, but this is someone who is usually very solid very firm in their decisions and their beliefs and in the reverse hmm this can be someone who is extremely rigid someone who is even cut off to others concerns or thoughts someone who is very selfish and even very stubborn it's their way or the highway 
and they will close you off if you don't follow their way. You also have the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. Hmm. Now, on the upright, well, the Six of Pentacles is just that. It is equal reciprocity. And this person is preparing gifts. Almost like with the merchant, they have it where they're giving to others, but it almost looks like this person is preparing gifts for another, right? This is usually some type of gift or generosity and gratitude in the upright, but in the reverse, this is some type of hmm, separation in a relationship. Again, some type of selfishness, even unstable finances, jealousy and envy. And you also have justice, major arcana in the reverse. Hmm. On the upright, justice is just that. It is fairness. It is balanced. This equal give and take. And it is making sure everyone is on stable footing as they walk away from situations, whether it's in business or relationships. But in the reverse, this is the scales being weighed unfairly. This is sometimes one giving time or attention or even situations to another versus splitting things uh, across all parties. But let's keep going. You also have the Knight of Wands in the upright. Well, this is, of course, that fiery, passionate knight, right? Wanting to come in and take charge and be loud and expressive and loving and passionate. And then ready to prounce their way out when they're done. <laughs> you also have the chariot, Major Arcana, in the reverse. Now, in the upright, the chariot is just that. It is moving forward, taking control and achieving any obstacles, not letting anyone or anything hold you back. And usually the chariot is usually led by the emperor or the kings, right? But in the reverse, not wanting to deal with situations, not wanting to take the lead, not wanting to step up to challenges. And you also have... Three of Cups. Well, this is get-togethers and partying and celebrations and reunions and enjoyment of one another, whether it's in music or drinks or others' company. Uh, it also could be third-party situations, but let's continue to go on. And you also have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. And on the upright, well, the Queen of Pentacles, this is very stable and very uh, grateful for their foundations, able to manifest any and everything uh, that they desire, their heart's desire, right? And is very well grounded and is usually the uh, married couple out of tarot, right? But in the reverse, this is not financially stable. This is not grounded. This is keeping up with the Joneses and uh, overspending, even though you don't have the money. And this is always looking at what others have, never being grateful for what you do have. And someone who can be very nasty when it comes to money. Capricorn, on the board, we have swords, air signs, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. We also have cups. Water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We also have pentacles, Earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. We also have wands, fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have the chariot, uh, Cancer. And for me as a reader, this can sometimes be Sagittarius. And the justice card, Libra. And for me, sometimes the justice card as a reader can also be Capricorn. Hmm. Interesting. Capricorn, I, I do believe this is you. Justice. In the reverse, though. Thing is, I also believe this king or queen of swords in the reverse is also you. 
Uh, usually the king or queen of swords are usually associated with justice, right? Very fair. Even justice could be, uh, the penalty can be fair. It could be brutal, right? Very logical based on facts. But for some reason you feel it's an injustice here. Uh, the problem is someone in the past was setting up money and gifts for others. Hmm. Maybe even giving their time, their energy, their money to others, right? Which is why the Six of Pentacles has showed up here in the reverse. And either this is you, Capricorn, or someone you're dealing with, but someone is very flighty. The playgirl, playboy type, who likes their cake and eat it too. Hmm. The type of person who doesn't mind putting others in third-party situations. But the thing is, someone thinks this is an injustice, injustice here because there was a third party situation. Now, this could be you, Capricorn, or the person you're dealing with. But it's almost like someone with player ways has a tendency of always involving other people or always having multiple connections. Hmm. And the thing is, we have a Queen of Pentacles on the board. She's also on a reverse. I believe this Queen of Pentacles was possibly finding out that this King or this Queen was actually a Knight. Someone who only believed in third party situations. Right? And someone who has possibly never had a good relationship, especially with the King of Swords being in the reverse. This is a person who's never had love, never had good relationships. And they always think that the glass is half empty. Even when they're dealing with relationships, even if someone that is in front of them that is there, placed by the divine, this person, they will always keep third parties and fourth parties and fifth parties, right? Even if that queen or king is on their level, they will always put this person in a third or fourth or fifth party because that is their, their makeup, right? That is part of who they are. And if this is you, Capricorn, or the person you're dealing with, they're not going to step up to the challenge of overcoming an obstacle and dealing with someone on their level. Dealing with someone on their level is too much work, right? Because the chariot in the upright, that's overcoming obstacles. That's overcoming challenges and working through whatever needs to be done. But in the reverse, this is not wanting to put in the strength, the time, or the energy to deal with people who are on your level. Which I believe this is why this king of pentacles, or this king or queen of pentacles is in the reverse. Right? Because no one puts a solid king or queen of pentacles in a third party. Only someone who looks like a king or the queen on the outside, but in the inside, they're really a knight. Their mentality, their money, their foundation is that of a knight. It's unstable and it's not solid. And even their Finances, their job situation is not solid. Hmm. Which is why I'm sure this king or queen of pentacles has checked out. So this is not going to resonate. This is for someone who thinks it's an injustice that people don't want to stay in third or fourth party situations with them. 
This is someone who likes to put everyone in the same box, even though everyone's not on the same level. This is someone who will put a king or empress or emperor in a box with pages and knights, right? And that's not going to work for a king or a queen. So this person will continue to be engaged in third parties, and they will continue to think it is a mental or it is an injustice that everyone they meet don't want to engage in this type of behavior, unfortunately. For some of you, you could be married and you're finding out that your <laughs> king has been engaging in third party situations. That they have been giving their time, energy, money away and gifts, buying gifts for others when they don't even buy gifts or flowers for you. Which I'm sure there's going to be uh, continued separations and divorces around this time going into the new year. These people are dropping karmic situations that no longer serve them, right? Okay, this, let me see, this came out in reverse, and my deck is upright, are they some in reverse? And this, yeah, they came in the reverse, uh, but this is, prosperity lies ahead, new moon in Taurus, so some of you may have Taurus in your chart, uh, this wanted to come in reverse though, uh, this could be this king, again, like I said, they were giving away their time, energy, away to others, uh, possibly third parties. And with this music here, this could be uh, drinking, socializing. Even this woman is kind of barely dressed, so even some type of uh, exotic dancers, right? But money being bestowed on frivolous things. And well, whoever this queen is, they've pretty much found out and they've checked out of the situation. So it's prosperity lies ahead, but it's in the reverse. Um, so getting a control on that, right? And you also have vulnerability. Open your heart. Allow yourself to be tender. Yeah, kind of hard to be vulnerable and tender when you are the king or queen of swords in the reverse. <laughs> This is someone who is not vulnerable. This is someone who is not open to love. This is someone who is very harsh and nasty when it comes to conversations or something that they don't like to hear or something they don't like to talk about. So if you are this king or queen of pentacles, it is probably best that you do move along, right? Understanding what your self-worth is and your self-love. Capricorn, if this is someone who puts you in this situation again, 2021 is the time to cut strings and cut ties with people, places, and things that no longer serve you. Capricorn, this is your reading from January the 1st to January the 15th. Please subscribe, share, comment, of course, like. <laughs> happy New Year, Soul Family, and happy birthday, Capricorn. Thank you so much for tuning in to Saggy Soul and from one soul to another soul. I love you, Soul Family. Have a good week.